James from Glasgow, Scotland. I recently purchased a George Foreman grill. And when setting it up, my wife told me somebody in her workplace said the concept for the grill was offered to Hulk Hogan first, before George Foreman and Hogan didn't fancy it. Can you confirm this at all? That is the story that Hogan has told for years, or one, one of the stories anyway, one of the many, 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 many stories of various types that Hulk Hogan has told. The thing you need to remember is that it's Hulk Hogan. So whenever he tells these stories, you have to always assume he's full of shit. Nobody has ever confirmed that he was offered the grill in the first place. In fact, the inventor of the grill has done interviews. Because I put lists together. I've gotten questions over the years about the various Hulk Hogan stories and lies. And I put lists together. And so I've read up on all this stuff. And the inventor of the grill has done interviews specifically mentioning the fact that he knew George Foreman and his kids were like burger freaks. And that he ate them before every fight. So he thought that he would be the perfect pitch man for it. I've never seen Hogan's name uttered from his lips once. Hogan's version of events is different depending on where and when he tells it. He's told the story that he always used to be late to pick his kids up from school. His kids were very upset about this. So one day, he decided he was going to leave early to go pick them up. And he made sure that he had plenty of snacks and candy and treats in the car waiting for them. And when he got home... He had a voicemail waiting from his agent about uh, two kitchen appliances for him to choose from to endorse and put his name on. A grill and some, there was one other one. I think it may have been a meatball machine. By the time he called his agent back to choose the grill, his agent said that George Foreman had already taken it. So he went with the meatball maker instead, which was a flop. I think that's the story he also told on Hogan Knows Best. But in other interviews, he said that his agent told him, hey, you know, you ought to get into putting your name on kitchen appliances and that it could be very lucrative for him. So he said, great, what do you got? And his agent said, well, there's a grill and there's a meatball maker. And Hogan said, well, let's go with the meatball maker, the Hulkamania meatball maker, brother. And when his agent asked him, well, what about the grill? Hogan said, well, just give it to your other client, which turned out to be George Foreman. And the rest is history. So there's various versions of this story. Now, mind you, Hogan has also claimed that the role of Randy the Ram in the movie The Wrestler that went to Mickey Rourke was first earmarked for him and that they sent him the script to the movie three different times and he turned it down because he didn't think he'd be able to give the role the credibility that it deserved. He thought the script was so good and this character was so good and he knew that people thought he was a shitty actor that he didn't want to do harm to the movie. So he graciously stepped aside and said, I can't accept this, brother. You can give it to somebody else. And then ultimately it went to Mickey Rourke instead. Like Mickey Rourke was the second choice for the role. Actually, Mickey Rourke may have been the second choice because the first person was Nicolas Cage. It was actually going to be Nicolas Cage. I can't imagine how that movie would have turned out with him. But Hulk Hogan was not the first choice. He was never a choice at all for Randy the Ram in the movie The Wrestler. Even the director, Darren Aronofsky called BS on that. He had to go on Twitter because Hogan did an interview, I think, on Howard Stern and said the same stuff. He had to go on Twitter to refute this and say Hogan was never considered for the role. Hogan is always a worker. He is always in worker mode. Always remember that.